Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is sixth nerve palsy. Uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share the videos from this channel. And uh, if you need more information, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And to visit the website, you can click the link in the description area, which is just below this video. You know. Now I come to the topic, what is sixth nerve palsy? You know, the sixth nerve palsy is a disorder uh, that affects the eye movement, you know. And uh, it's caused by uh, damage to the sixth cranial nerve. And you know, the primary function of the sixth cranial nerve is to uh, send the signals uh, to your lateral rectus muscle. And this small muscle is uh, it's located on the outer side of your eye. And uh, uh, it is responsible for uh, turning your eye away from the nose, you know. And uh, when the lateral rectus muscle weakens, your eye crosses inward uh, towards the nose. Uh, so this is, uh, uh, you know, the... Uh, each eye has its own uh, let, uh, lateral rectus muscle, you know, and uh, the sixth cranial nerve. And the sixth cranial nerve palsy can affect uh, one or both eyes. And your symptoms and the severity of the condition depend on whether both eyes are affected or uh, the one eye is affected, you know. And, uh, you know, the double VN is the most common symptom of the, uh, the sixth nerve palsy and uh, you may notice this VN uh, impairment when both eyes are open and uh, or when you are looking at something uh, uh, at the distance you know and sometimes this diplopia or double VN occurs when looking in the direction of the damaged eye and it's also possible to have the sixth nerve palsy without double VN you know and uh, you know uh, another symptom uh, is uh, like a, a poor lie alignment, you know, or uh, like uh, strabismus, you know, it's also called as crossed eyes. And this is when your eye does not look in the same direction at the same time. So both eyes are no, not looking at the same direction, you know. And the double VN and uh, uh, strabismus is, uh, uh, they are the typical uh, with the sixth nerve palsy, you know. But you may have uh, other symptoms and uh, you know the sixth cranial nerve uh, uh, it travels from the brain stem to the lateral rectus muscle and uh, which means uh, neurologic disorders may cause the sixth nerve palsy okay and uh, in case when the sixth nerve palsy occurs without any other symptoms, uh, it's known as uh, isolated sixth nerve palsy, you know. And uh, the addition of other symptoms may suggest the involvement of more than uh, just sixth nerve cranial nerve, you know. The next thing is what are the causes? You know, there are several causes of a sixth nerve palsy. And uh, the condition can be congenital or and affect the person at birth, you know. And this is sometimes due to injury to the sixth cranial nerve during the labor or the delivery. But sometimes the cause of the congenital sixth nerve is unknown, you know. So we don't know what's the reason, you know. And there are various circumstances and illnesses can also cause this disorder. And uh, which may include like head injury, skull fracture, which damages the sixth cranial nerve, you know. And uh, uh, the disorder may also develop as a result of inflammation in the sixth cranial nerve. And uh, there are many other conditions uh, that can cause uh, the cranial nerve damage or the inflammation, which may include like uh, uh, stroke or maybe infection or maybe brain tumors or maybe brain aneurysm or multiple sclerosis, diabetic neuropathy, brain tumors, Lyme disease, infection, stroke, you know. So these are the multiple causes, you know. And uh, the most common cause uh, in the children is trauma, you know, 
uh, like from uh, uh, accident involving the head injury and in adults the most common cause is stroke okay now next thing is what are the risk factors for the sixth grain uh, uh, sixth nerve palsy you know you know anyone can develop this type of palsy you know and there's no particular group of the people at high risk for this disorder but you can uh, take steps to protect yourself like uh, from the trauma or uh, so you should uh, use the caution to protect your head from injuries when playing sports or riding bicycle or uh, you know so this way you can uh, decrease the chance you know and uh, likewise uh, stroke is a common cause you know so healthy lifestyle and uh, healthy heart you know they can also prevent and uh, like controlling your blood pressure increasing the physical activities losing weight if you're diabetic keep your uh, and diabetes within normal parameters or limits you know and uh, uh, stop smoking, maintaining healthy diet. So this way you can decrease the risk of getting uh, the sixth uh, nerve palsy. You know. The next thing is how do doctors diagnose that someone have uh, this uh, sixth nerve palsy? You know, uh, if you have double VN or if your eyes are not uh, aligning properly or the crossed eyes, you know, you should see your doctor. And uh, uh, your doctor will ask you the questions about the medical history and will perform the complete physical examination, you know. And, uh, you know, the sixth nerve palsy has various possible causes. So your doctor may order a series of tests, you know, and uh, treating the underlying problems may gradually uh, correct the disorder. And the tests may include like uh, uh, brain scan to check if there is any tumor, or any skull fracture or maybe brain injury or increased pressure in the brain you know and it would be x-rays or CT scan and MRI you know and the blood tests are the lumbar puncture to uh, rule out meningitis you know or the neurological tests to check for the abnormalities in the nervous system you know or so these uh, are the multiple, so there will be a series of tests as I said, uh, your doctor will order, you know. And uh, once diagnosed and doctor know what is causing this condition, you know, then he will treat accordingly, you know. And in some cases, the treatment is unnecessary and the six nerve palsy improves in time, you know. Such as uh, where it's caused by the viral infection that has to run its course, you know. And uh, other times the, the disorder only improves uh, once the underlying cause has been treated, you know. And the treatment depends on your diagnosis. And uh, your doctor will prescribe you the antibiotics if uh, there is uh, any bacterial infection, you know. And the prescription uh, strength like corticosteroids can treat the sixth nerve palsy which is caused by the inflammation, you know. And if you have brain tumor, the symptoms after uh, that uh, uh, condition may not improve until uh, you have the surgery, you know, and that tumor is removed, or maybe the chemotherapy and other treatments to remove the tumor or the uh, to kill the cancer cells, you know. And uh, you may never recover from the sixth nerve palsy caused by the trauma, you know. And your doctor may monitor your condition over a six-month period, you know. And if double VN and uh, uh, strabismus has not improved or worsens, then the options include wearing an uh, eye patch over the affected eye uh, for the long term to, like, uh, alleviate the double VN, you know. And your doctor may also recommend you, like, uh, um, uh, prism glass to provide the single uh, uh, binocular V in, you know, and align your eyes, you know. And uh, there are some medical conditions, uh, uh, sorry, medical procedures, um, uh, they are effective and these may include like, like botulinum toxin injections, you know, or Botox injections, you know, where your doctor 
paralyzes the muscles on one side of your eye okay to correct the that uh, poor alignment you know and uh, if successful the surgery can stop the affected eye from pulling inward towards the nose right so these are the treatment options uh, so next thing is about the outlook or any complications you know you know the six nerve palsy does not cause complications uh, but you may have the complications from the underlying conditions you know and uh, uh, this is why it's important to understand the cause of this disorder you know and to treat it accordingly you know and the long term outlook uh, for this condition depends on the cause and the, with the treatment the symptoms uh, usually go away uh, within the first six months of the uh, onset you know with the proper treatment you know uh, Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more information. Thank you and goodbye.